if you run a product-led growth company, then a big part of your business is probably getting people to sign up for a free trial and then converting those free trials into full accounts. So I'm gonna show you how you can use HubSpot to manage that whole process. The first thing you're going to need to do is make sure that your product activity is going into HubSpot. So the easiest way to do that is to just use HubSpot's tracking code. If you have a web app, it's super easy to install on each of the pages and all of your activity data within your app will be put on the contact record when someone uses your app. When building a product-led growth data model, we want to not just consider HubSpot standard objects, which are contacts, companies, tickets, and deals, but also custom objects. In this case, I've created a free trials custom object as well as an app accounts, which would be that full paid account. When you're building out your custom objects, you're going to want to create some custom properties to store data that's coming in from your app. Activity data will be synced on the contact record, but you can also put in stuff. For example, in this free trial, we have end date, start date, the source, the last page they visited before signing up, the status of the free trial, and if they upgrade, then we'll stamp an upgrade date. Over here, you can see any free trials or full accounts that I have. So in this case, I've created a free trial. You can see the start date, the end date, and the status. Currently says upgraded because I've already upgraded to a full account, but it could say active if I was still in the free trial or expired if I had gone past the seven days. We also have the full account down here. You can see the tier of the app that I'm subscribed to, my renewal date, and if we sent a NPS survey, then you can see my most recent response. HubSpot's not just good for seeing what is happening inside your app, it's also good for automating stuff that happens around your free trials, especially if you are running marketing programs to get people to upgrade. So I'm going to cover four different workflows that I've built. This first one is a free trial signup. So if someone fills out our free trial signup form, we're going to create a new record that is in that free trial object. When you create a record for the free trial, you can give it a name from the contact record. I've got the last page they visited before they sign up being copied over as well as the original source of that contact. So we can do some attribution to how people got to a free trial. But really, you can copy anything that's on the contact record as long as there's a similar property on the free trial record. You want to keep this box checked, the add timeline activity from enrolled contact, because that is going to put any activity that comes through your web app onto the record for the free trial. You also want to associate associate any companies or deals that are the result of a free trial. The second workflow I'm going to show you is going to set the free trial start and end dates. When a free trial record is created, we're just going to set the start date to the current date. We're going to update the status of the free trial to active. And then using Ops Hub's format data action, we are going to add seven days to the start date and then copy that new date onto the end date. This is for a seven day free trial. Then we can delay seven days until the trial would be over. At that point, if the free trial status has been set to upgraded, which means they've upgraded to a full account, then we're not gonna do anything. If they have not upgraded, we are gonna change the status to expired. The third workflow we're gonna look at is free trial onboarding. When someone signs up for your free trial, you're gonna wanna take them through a marketing campaign to teach them the ropes of using the features and encourage them to upgrade to a full account. Here, we're bringing in contacts that have a free trial that is currently active. We're just going to send them an email saying, welcome to the app. A few days later, we're going to ask them, have you tried these features? You can make this onboarding as complex or as simple as you like. If you want to do some branching logic where you check to see what features people have used and have kind of one branch for people that are active users and one branch for people that haven't really touched the trial, you can also send emails closer together. Send an email every single day for the seven days of the trial. One thing that I really like doing is sending people an email after they take certain actions. There's an action called delay until event happens. This is basically going to allow you to specify an action that you want them to take. And as soon as they take it, it will send that contact down that branch of the workflow. Lastly, you definitely want to send a reminder that their free trial is almost over. This is kind of a last chance to upgrade. And hopefully somewhere in this flow, they do decide to upgrade. When they do, they will have achieved the workflow goal. So you can set this in the workflow settings. And the goal I have here is they have filled out the upgrade app account form. What happens when they do that is it will pull them out of this workflow no matter where they are. So if immediately upgrade their account, then they're not going to get the, the subsequent emails. And you can actually see we've got right here an indicator that someone did meet the goal after this action. The last workflow, I'm going to talk about what happens when someone does upgrade their account. Intro criteria here is they have filled out the upgrade account form and they previously had a free trial. When that happens, we're going to set 
set the free trial property status to upgraded. And then we're going to create a new record. This time we're creating an app account instead of a free trial. And once again, we're going to check the timeline activity so that any activity by that contact goes into the app account record. We're going to associate any companies, deals, and free trials that are associated with that contact. By bringing your product data into HubSpot, you can have more free trial signups and more upgrades from free trials to full accounts by automating the process of onboarding and encouraging people to sign up. If you like this video and found it helpful, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions about how PLG can work within HubSpot, feel free to send me a message on LinkedIn.